Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. I'm just going to do a little quickie Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon reading here for you. Um, so I hope you all are well. If you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video. Go ahead and click that. It will take you to my booking site. Um, yeah, so please do hit that smash, hit that smash, smash that like, share, and subscribe reading button. My goodness, if you enjoy my readings. All right, let's just get straight into this, okay? First card out of the deck. I'm using the Moon Pie Tarot Oracle deck. All right. Wow. Okay, Virgo. You've got Twin Soul. Communicate your love to the Divine. Be thankful for this Twin Soul love. You've been chosen for one another. Even when times are tough and seem back and forth, this love was meant to be. It's time to reconcile. Okay, Virgo. Hello. That's obviously a twin. That's my twin flame card. Okay. So there's some kind of reconciliation situation going on here okay you're being asked to reconcile with your twin flame or virgo your twin flame is wanting to reconcile with you let's see what else comes up here oh there you go the past returns okay you've got a past person coming back into your life virgo um this is obviously someone who is a twin flame from the past maybe things didn't work out yada 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 you never know right but it looks like you, this, it feels mostly like, I mean, Virgo, you do what you need to do, but this feels like your person who you know is your twin flame um, is 100% bored with their lives. <laughs> they have been. They have not found the one for them. Um, no matter how tumultuous or chaotic your relationship may have been, um, they're bored with the others or the other person that they went to. So, all right, let's see. What else? Okay, so no contact in the reverse. So somebody's coming out of um, no contact. Absolutely. Somebody's breaking no contact. This is, must be the person you are connecting with. Twin soul energy can be Gemini. So some of you could be connecting with a Gemini or that's your twin flame. But yeah, um, if you're in no contact with someone or you have not been in contact with this person, I feel like um, they want to talk to you. This person is definitely, look, emotional wish granted. This person, you are... A wish for them that's the nine of cups energy you are a wish for this person and i feel like they're going to try to come out of some kind of no contact situation if they've not been speaking to you or you both haven't been speaking to each other yeah this person wants to try to come back in and you know have that love definitely have that love okay i feel like this person virgo has definitely learned from the past so if there were some things like they need to go take a class i'm growing the f up i feel like this person probably did that virgo could be you it could be both of you you know going into no contact and learning you know about each other or what that heck you know it's like virgo i mean maybe you're involved with this person and twin flame relationships can be difficult and it probably got a little bit toxic or it was just very difficult to be happy together because there were so many lessons being thrown left right and center between the two of you there might have been a separation where you know this person could have separated from you or ended something with you and realized that they were unhappy with you and they needed to make change to come back into your life you might have put that on them they might have put that on you virgo where they just said you know they are um not taking they needed you to come correct right i'm not saying that that is what you had to do my cards all fell i feel like for some of you that might have been the situation however it could have just been both of you whatever it is there's lessons that have been learned and i feel like somebody's coming in here with like hey you know what I went, I went and took a class on, on how to be a grown-up person, you know. Um, maybe they went to therapy or they they learned, they learned got some new, I don't know, it's just some new skills of some sort. Let me, let me take a look here. Okay, so Temperance Peace card just fell out. The influence of balance and harmony are over you. Leave things be and allow spirit to work in your life. All good things are happening behind the scenes. Trust that God is working in your life. Even when you feel discouraged, be patient and trust his timing. So that pretty much feels like, like what is happening here. Virgo, I don't feel like you're trying to push the envelope or on anything with a twin flame or in a twin flame relationship. It feels mostly to me like you're just like whatever's meant for me will be for me and what isn't. Um, 
will just pass me by and that's that Virgo I don't feel like you're in this position now um I feel like this like I don't know if you gave it up to God or you were just like you know what it's gonna whatever it is what it is so I kind of feel like that <laughs> that's your energy um let me get a couple of um I'm gonna look at the Rider weight tarot and see what other messages they have here for you Virgo what other messages are here for Virgo Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. All right. Yeah, Virgo, it looks like to me that you've just been doing your, like, focusing on your work, focusing on what's in front of you. You're, like, not distracted. You, Some of you just don't even give a damn. You don't give a rat's nothing. Um, somebody might have been born on September 8th, or you might be an August Virgo, but there is an energy here of, like, you know what, Virgo, I feel like at this time, and especially going through the rest of January, you're just focusing on your work, your building, your craft, um, enjoying your employment. Hopefully you're employed. Um, it looks like you're just really trying to carve something out for yourself at this time in your life or in like throughout the month of January. So I feel like this no contact, someone breaking no contact or this energy coming forward is just going to be like you're not expecting it. You won't see it coming, Virgo. Okay, because you're going to be busy, like, I don't know, arranging your peas on your plate, separating it from your chicken. I don't know. You're just kind of like counting your dimes, counting your money. You are, you know, very focused on what's a, what's in front of you at the table. You're sitting, maybe you're working on your computer and a message just pops up or looking at your phone and, and a message pops up from someone out of the blue, this person. And... Um, <clears throat> Somehow, for some of you, if you have this person blocked, I mean, no contact does not necessarily mean blocked. It just means two people aren't talking. There hasn't been any contact between two people. If you have somebody blocked, they might show up on a different number or through some other means. All right, let me see what's going on. But you, Virgo, looks like you're just, you know, you're sitting here watching me doing this reading and all of a sudden something pops up there's a message or an indication or an alert or the ringtone shows up for you okay yeah virgo's like what the f what what virgo you got your like boundaries up <laughs> you're kind of like peeking behind your staff there like what the heck <laughs> Virgo, you have like some pretty heavy do boundaries up right now at this time. You're just, I don't know. You're kind of like, I don't know about this. When this message comes in, let me see. Oh, yeah. Some of you are going to be like, get back, get away. Not today, Satan. <laughs> some of you, look at you, seven of wands. You're just like, you've got your dukes up, your defenses up, you're protecting yourself. What's going on, Virgo? What is going on? You don't trust this person. Perhaps you don't trust this. Let me say. 824, 825, 827, uh, 829. I'm calling out birthdays here. Okay. Let me see what else is going on for you. What else is going on for Virgo? Okay. Virgo, you, like, legit have been seriously just have enjoyed yourself. You've been, like, I don't know, eating a ton of carbs. You, um, you just been maybe doing some comfort food binge kind of thing after a split or even drinking a little bit. Um, but, you know, with that Nine of Cups, I feel like overall for the month of um, January, you're just kind of like, you know, I'm good. I'm comfortable. You know, I'm living off the fat of the land. And, you know, I'm, I'm having fun. I'm enjoying my life. And this little thing happens here where either you don't expect it. I don't know if you, oh, heartful. I don't know if you want that person to reach out to you again. Um, I, I kind of feel, some of you might make you very happy though. Nine of cups for sure. Some of you is like, this is a wish come true. They, they've, they've fixed themselves. They've worked on their end of, you know, their street. They've cleaned up their, their end of the street. They've cleaned up their backyard. And I've been cleaning up my backyard. And, you know, I feel like two people brought a lot of like, or one brought a lot of toxic energy to a relationship, this twin thing. And it was a whole like learning lesson kind of thing here. Let me see. Okay. Yeah, look, it was 
Six of Swords. Necessary transition. Um, so it feels like whatever this situation, this relationship, however things were in this relationship, it needed to go through some major transitions and change, okay? Um, this is like facing the fears and knowing that it's scary to go... Um, point A to point B, but having to do it. This is all about facing fears. Some of you might live at a distance to each other and this person is coming towards you. It could be like across the ocean from one another. Um, there's a energy also of relocating. So somebody might tell you that they move to your area or they wanna to come to where you are and have some kind of a conversation and talk to you. Okay, let me see what else is going on here, Virgo. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Knight of Cups. That's what I suspected. So there's definitely a love energy coming in from this person. Um, a proposal, an offer being made from this person where um, I feel like they have a lot of deep feelings for you. And I feel like this person truly does love you. Um, but you guys must have had like a really rough time of it getting together or trying to make something work between the two of you. Okay. Let me see what your love oracle messages are here. Virgo. Okay, chemistry. So the attraction you and this person feel for each other is mutual. I don't feel like that's ever gone away. That is a definite. There is some pretty strong chemistry there between you and whomever your twin is. Okay, let me see what else. They feel the same way that you do. Okay, so me. Yeah, so I feel like this person loves and accepts and respects you unconditionally. Well, I mean, it says it. But remember the card was twin soul. So I kind of feel like <clears throat> this twin soul, um, really, uh, this twin flame relationship, I just feel like there was a lot of lessons learned. And I don't know, but I feel like you guys um, coming back together will now have more of a soulmate energy between the two of you where because the lessons are le learned, the healing has happened. It's like this person took a look at their stuff and tried to like strengthen their weaknesses. And I think you've been doing that too, Virgo, as well. Okay. Um, again... Like I said, some of you, though, at first, when you get this message from this person, I feel like you're not going to trust it. You're just going to be like, Duke's up. Let me see. Okay. Yeah, different pages. You and this person don't share the same vision. I feel like that's the struggle. Seriously, Virgo. I mean, you guys have very different um, outputs <laughs> and inputs. Um, I feel like it might have been, it's hard for you to, to, I feel like you both are like an opposites attract kind of thing. Um, and it, that, those relationships feel very much like twin flame. Those relationships are really difficult to have. So can, does that mean it can't work? Not necessarily, but people got to sacrifice, you know, and got to know when, know when to hold them and know when to fold them. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's that kind of thing. It's a real struggle. But you know what, Virgo, here and now, your true love is already a part of your life. So... I don't know, Virgo. It's like, yeah, this person's coming in. Yeah, they want to connect with you. Yeah, they want to have that, like, awesome, amazing energy with you. They definitely learned some lessons. I feel like you have as well. But at the same time, it's kind of like, can you trust it again, right? Can you trust that the message is coming in? All right, let me see what else is here. Okay, what was this? Wow, you've got the clock. Need time, takes time, time cycles, time to heal and progress. So Virgo, this whole situation was all about healing, was all about timing, divine timing. Wow, you got again, soulmates, soul connection, partnership agreement, a soul contract. So yeah, the twin flame thing, this journey, I don't know, doesn't seem like it's over to me. Of course, you know, at the end of the day, Virgo, you can just turn around and be like, no, it's done. Don't answer the call. You might just have to block. That's totally up to you. I'm totally not telling you what to do here. But I can say that whoever it is that you feel your twin flame is, I mean, this person loves you very much. They still love you very much. They really didn't know how to fix things. And I don't feel like you did either. And I feel like you tried. And I feel like you gave it your all. And then finally said, no. 
you're not going in that direction anymore, but it seems like this person is going to break no contact. All right. Yeah, this person was wearing a mask, definitely. Um, they were hiding a lot of things about themselves. They might have told you that they were wearing a mask or told you or you suspected it. Um, not showing their true feelings. They were gaslighting themselves, um, pretending. I feel like this person was really just kidding themselves because you can't pull the wool over Virgo's eyes. Virgo sees right through everything. I don't think it's you, Virgo. I don't think you're the one in those narcissistic recovery groups. I really don't. I mean, if you are, you're not in there long because you're like, oh, nope, I get it, I'm out. <laughs> if you were dealing with someone like that, you know, um, or even just someone, everybody's got narcissistic traits, so like, don't beat yourself up. If you feel like that's like don't get scared you know uh, i don't think you're probably not malignant because if you're here trying to find out how to heal yourself you can't possibly be, be on that high end spectrum of being a, a narcissist you know if you're watching any youtube videos about how to heal yourself i'm pretty sure you're not an arc so if i don't know that this person they might i just feel like they've been hiding and i just feel like maybe they were very self-absorbed but also very insecure and that's probably is something where you might have been like, no, nah, I don't trust this person coming back in. I don't know. Um, yeah, see, some of you are like, nope, not today. I'm not dealing with it. I'm avoiding the conversation, the call, avoiding this person. Um, still got my boundaries up, protecting myself. So Virgo, I mean, listen, I can't stop you twin flame from coming in. Right? Um, people are going to do what they're going to do, but you have the power to say no. And if you want to say yes, you have the power to say yes too. So those are your messages, Virgo. Hope you enjoy that. I will be back on here later this evening, 10.30 p.m. Eastern. So come back and hang out with me later for another message. All right, you guys, take care. Bye.